Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. How are you feeling? You feeling better? <laughs> I'm doing great. Roger has already alluded to the first surprise today. <laughs> so let me officially, let's start this off right. Let me welcome Roger. Hello. And welcome everybody watching this. Uh, once again, on Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials, you have stumbled upon either through recommendation or your best pal sent you the link or uh, YouTube did it. We don't know. But uh, you are now going to take part in the first session of our next big Great Campaigns of the American Civil War campaign game. We got a little bit of news to share with you, of course, because there's a lot of background to this. So this this first little episode is going to be a bit talky here in the first 15-20 minutes, as per usual, as we set everything up. Let's do our informal chit-chattery. Yes, we took a little vacation. And by vacation, I mean, I got COVID. <laughs> Hooray! And, and the... The most annoying part is I don't even get to say I got COVID at WBC or I got COVID <laughs> at Gen Con. Nope, I got it at work. So, uh, yeah, I, I spent three days kind of napping a lot and it was very, mm -hmm. very mild. So I was I was pleased about that. And four star service here in this hotel. I love it. If I needed soup, I got soup. I got crackers. And then it was just a, a 10 day game of, hey, am I going to test negative today? Maybe. And finally, I did. So, uh, unfortunately, after two and a half years of avoiding COVID, I got my usual post, literally post-nasal issues. So I get a drip, and I usually get uh, some kind of asthmatic cough, which you guys are not going to hear because I'm going to mute myself a lot. But Roger's going to hear pauses, and then I'm going to edit those pauses out when I cough. But we're going to get through it. Uh, otherwise, I get to practice my Jack Palance, you know, pick up the gun. Or, or my Patty and Selma Bouvier. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, it's just I, I gotta wait it out. It's, it's just part of things. But it's annoying that uh, after not having Knockwood any kind of cold or sickness since the beginning of COVID, because everyone washes their hands now. Eh, now I'm dealing with the old maladies have come back, which are wonderful when you record videos and do voiceovers. <laughs> Aren't they, aren't they great? So, Roger, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Like I said, we took a little bit of a break and uh, ready to go here. This is going to be an exciting scenario I think we chose. And uh, But yeah, I had my bout of COVID after missing it too. And uh, I hope you don't get what I feel like I just cannot get completely over the tiredness. I, I just, uh, it's weird. I'm just tired all the time. So I really? hope you don't get that. And you got it uh, a little while back. You got it uh, several months ago. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, several months ago. Yeah, uh, so. yeah. It was. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know where I got it. Uh, like I said, at work, and uh, you know, we thought we thought we were in a fairly clean environment, but lo and behold, that Friday afternoon, apparently, I was tainted. Eh. <laughs> oh well. Now I I got it from my wife. I mean, I know that because she she bought it home, and I don't go anywhere since I work from home anyway. So that's right. If you get a chance no. to work from home, kids. Take them up on that because it's it's great. But then I'm antisocial, so <laughs> I don't miss people. <laughs> that is great for us having the channel here, uh, Roger. <laughs> well, but, uh, let's let's turn our antisocial behavior to the entertainment of others. And the worst part is you can't say the word wheeze when you wheeze because that's just nature's mm -hmm. way of saying breathe, fool. Mm -hmm. Let's tell everybody what we're doing here. So. We finished, and if you've not watched it, we've done uh, a full campaign already of Scenario 8 from Here Come the Rebels. And now, instead of just doing the normal flip-flop, we actually had two items on the agenda. One was um, we had talked about using the limited information rules, because neither one of us had had a chance to, to use that since it's been codified in the series rules. And then the next thing was, Roger said, hey, uh, rather than skipping over, let's let's take advantage of the smaller footprint of Scenario 7. And that's what we're doing here. We're going to layer those two bits of complication together. So with Scenario 7, it is a smaller footprint. It is only the Western map. So those of you following along at home, we're going to go through some of the germane bits of this. Yeah, we're going to be doing Scenario 7. And we're also, as Patrick just mentioned, limited intelligence rules. So we both have gone through and set up force markers 
Uh, I know I cannot see Patrick's, and I believe he's probably set up his side, so he can't see mine. So you will, to some extent, be surprised. Hopefully, I will surprise Patrick and uh, the viewing audience with my uh, fakery of my force units. Uh, scenario seven is is a shorter scenario. It's only nine turns, September 10th to September 18th of 1862. Uh, basically, it has the same victory point conditions. I, I won't go over them in detail as our last uh, playthrough. Uh, there are some that aren't included, uh, but we have uh, county control. And again, Patrick's playing the Confederate, so he's the one who's going to have to perform county control in each turn, each phase. And at the end, he'll have also a county control option. And the further uh, east he controls counties, the higher the points he gets. And for those of you, I will not spoil it, but it is fairly difficult, I believe, the further east you go. Um, Piece of cake! <laughs> <laughs> Another very interesting uh, variant here is our random events. And there was a scenario where we had, I think, a similar set of random events. Yes, the three cigars. Three, That's right. Three cigars. Right. Uh, we have a, so we have like things like Snake Eyes and Pleasanton, Confederate Falls and Balls, uh, the three cigars itself. Um, so very different. I think, I don't know who, I think this probably plays more for Patrick. Uh, we only have one option for late for rain, and that's if we roll uh, double sixes. That's right. So there's only one chance for late rain, and it's a late rain. It's not a all day rain. And that, for those of you who, who do go back and watch our previous one, rain played a significant uh, part of of what we ran into last time. And we also don't have union paralysis, which is good for me. Yeah, that is going to be well. I mean, you, you're already set pretty far advanced, so yeah. we don't have all yeah. of that, you know, logistical headache of getting you out of Washington. So yeah, they, yes. they are fast tracking you to to kind of get you to loggerheads as quickly as possible, which is nice for this yep. one. I don't know if there's anything else we want to try to cover. I don't. Um, I don't think so. Um, you know, we don't need to go through all the special scenario rules. Uh, suffice to say, like the other one. I will get all of the activations for turn one. So essentially it is an eight, oh, an eight yeah. turn game for Roger to play, you know, catch up or do whatever. Let's talk about the limited rules here. The limited intelligence. Sure. rule. I've got them pulled up on my side here. And if you've got the series rules, you see that uh, they are on page 23. Yeah. What we have is we each have our own force display. Uh, when we're limited to 10 of these dummy markers, and what we've done uh, is we have kind of not take we've taken the initial setup and we have put forces, but possibly under our force markers and placed them on the map. Uh, we can move the forces just like normal. If it's a obviously we're going to roll the dice. We'll see each other's dice rolls. We'll roll for extended marches. We'll see each other's extended march rolls. That will probably give us clues as to what type of unit they are. The other option here is revealing enemy forces is if we get a cavalry force within two hexes, uh, we provide that information to our opponent. We'll place the actual counter on the map. Um, or if we get within uh, adjacent to a infantry unit, we uh, display what's there. For that, though, we do need to have... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, passable train. Impassable train you do not expose. That's right. Yeah. So, and uh, for cavalry, it also, uh, the uh, restricted zone of control also factors into that. So you've got to be able to, yeah. to see through or have a connection uh, to that for within the two hexes for the cavalry. Uh, otherwise, if you get up next to them, if you just sidle up next to them, then uh, that force is revealed until they move away and then option to replace a force marker so that's going to be yes. fun for this i think what it's going to do which is great for you the home viewers is uh it's going to be just a, a logistical nightmare for roger and i sitting here going through it we'll announce what we're doing which is fine because it'll just be like force one is moving here so editing is going to be a, a bit more challenging for me but it, i think it will stitch together very smoothly for 
for you, the viewer. So this is the great experiment to see if uh, what it adds to what is uh, a moderately complex uh, campaign. There's only two supply checks on this one. One of them is really the only one that matters since it's on nine turns. The last one is on the last turn, so it's not really going to matter that I'm aware of. All the other stuff Roger said uh, applies. We will still have, uh, I'm pulling up the, the sequence of play here, we will still have Harper's Ferry checks. We will still have... Pennsylvania militia checks and supplies when that occurs. But otherwise, it is just a smaller footprint, one map only, and just centers all the action right around Frederick and West. So, what do you think? I think it'll be interesting. I, obviously, what's going to happen now is our cavalry forces, instead of either being sort of, you know, we'll have them using the block zone of control or destroy a railroad depot here or there, or in the case of the Union, try and not let them be cannon fodder, is you're going to have to use them to scout. Because these dummy forces, I don't know if I mentioned, you can have a dummy force that is just a dummy force. There's no component to it. So I can get him if I can, and you're going to probably do the same, try to get me to chase something that is a mirage. Bad intelligence. And what's fun so, about this is that hard limit of 10 force markers, right? So uh, I put all 10 of mine out where I had units already set up, but I mixed and matched them. I shuffled them all up. So I kept them all within legal placement, of course, as they were, but Roger doesn't know, based on the printed setup, uh, where these units actually are. So that should add a little bit of fun. And Roger did the same for his union units. Uh, I told him, stack all the core, and you can mix the four or five core that are out there and just replace them with force markers and then we will just see what happens and th this should be fun yeah i think it will be definitely a different yeah i said it, it adds an element of strategy tactics that we have not dealt with or i have not dealt with the only big difference uh for those of you who do have the the, the book of course the victory points here are a marginal for me the confederates is 100 points and the big factor there, of course, is that Harper's Ferry. So I have to factor in negative 15 points, you know, and almost just for safety's sake, go out to 115 victory points because really, you know, you still got to capture Harper's Ferry. And that means four or five days surrounding it and you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, I have to make that decision of peeling off forces, trying to get it, or do I just try to push ahead and get to 115 and allow myself that subtracted victory points at the end. Uh, so that is a very fundamental a strategic question for the Confederate player right up front. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, we're, we're ready to go here. What do you say? Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's feel uh, our way around in the dark. And <laughs> um, I was going to say let's roll for a nit, but uh, you don't need to do that. <laughs> we don't, do we do but we do have random events yeah, on first day. Yes, we do. And so I will let okay. you do the honors of that. Okay. That's a random event. Two dice. So we have, five. well, there you go. Accelerated Union Reinforcements. I believe that means... I, th uh, I think what it might be is if I were to put him on turn two, they come in at fatigue one. If I wait and bring him on turn three, they come in at fatigue level zero. Okay. Oh, I see. So I think the only effect here is they'll come in. If I can bring them on next turn at fatigue zero. Okay. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. Okay. So let's... Uh, let me... Or I could bring them on now and they're not going to move. That's so. right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's... Uh, I'll, I'll bump Hooker out to September 11th and then you can... Uh, We'll just mark that as a possibility for you. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, that was easy. We don't have Harper's Ferry. We don't have Pennsylvania Militia yet. No reinforcements, of course. And leader transfers, well, I may or may not be moving my leaders. And you may or may not. So, and I have put my force card off to the side so it is not being recorded so i can keep i can see it the oh, whole okay. time uh, and of course i can't access rogers at all but yeah so even the home viewers will not know what is going on with the I, confederates yeah i wasn't sure how you're gonna uh, try to play that yeah. so that's interesting okay all right so no so comment below yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think we move on to the action cycle like like you said there's absolutely no need for initiative let me see. Let me th let me mull here for a moment. What is what is it I want to do? Okay. We're going to have Force 5 and Force 6 activate. So here is their movement. Okay. So let's go 
four, six, go one, two, three, four, five, six, and force five will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Uh, next initiative, force five will march. There's their movement. And they will go one, two, three to there. Okay. Uh, next initiative, we'll have force five go again. Here's their movement. All right. So they'll just go one, two, and that. And we will perform an extended march. Okay. Uh, let's see. Have force nine march. Here's their movement. Wow. They will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Next initiative. Force nine again. Movement. Go one two, and three. Force nine a third time. And they will burn Katakton Switch. You've got the, I hear that spreadsheet a-going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's the same one with the minor modifications for the various different scoring, but I think I got that all right. I think. That's good. I think I got the adjustment. Uh, okay. I will have 7th Virginia March. They will go seven. I think they'll come down to one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll have Munford March. That's his movement. It's eight. One, two, three, four to there. And we'll have F. Lee march. Here's his movement. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they'll go again. Movement. Oop, big movement. They'll go one, two, Three to there. Bum, bum, bum. They pull out their field glasses and they look at the camp off in the distance and say, what is Force 5? It is the Ninth Corps. All in camp. We know in command. Go back and you found one of my corps. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Uh, let's see. Hampton will march with Stuart. Here's his movement, plus three. He's got six, seven. So he'll go one, two, three, four to there. Uh, next initiative, they will attempt an assault on the first New York. Let's see what we can do cav on cav out ahead of the armies. So here is the attempt. Oh, Stuart is uh, preening and not interested in fighting on this day. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll have 7th Virginia. We'll go to 2. And they'll move. Oh, also crappy. Let's see. They get 4. So they'll go 1, 2, Three and four to Clarksburg. All right. I will have a force eight march. 
There's the movement. Oh, that's nice movement. Here we go. One. Four. Five, six, and seven. Uh, force eight will go again. Movement. Mm. Go, go, go. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I have force three march. Go one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> go uh -huh. into there. <laughs> and uh, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And let's stop there. And force three again. Movement. I'll just do a single hex move to there. It's a good thing I've got this force display here because I'd be losing track of <laughs> where everybody's going. <laughs> Who are you again? Okay. I, I thought that's what happened to me is that I'm not going to go, what? Oh, wait a minute. That's. I'll move force 10. Movement. Yeah, that's not, that's not good. <clears throat> so he'll just go. One, two to there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll burn Frederick Junction. So, destroy that. Take another victory point. And Force 10 gets a fatigue. All right. And now I think I am done. So, here's the big, the big challenge, the big test. I'm going to hit recovery. Well, let's see. Uh, first, let's go through this properly. The recovery phase. Yes. So here's recovery. Come on, baby. Work for me. Uh, recover sunshine. And no, it did not. So I got to do, hmm. when they're on the force card, we got to do manual recovery. So that's not, yeah. not a problem. Let's see. Maryland County control phase. Well, I've got new market. And let's see, you have to have Frederick East. That is Frederick East, and you have to have for control. You've got to have a total of what? I think it's thirteen plus the control. So you're probably good, I think. Uh, oh no, uh, <laughs> no idea. Well, well yeah, because okay. uh, you got force five counts. Yes, yes. So I do. Force I, six. I do have control and, of that. And Hampton and the Seventh Virginia. Perfect. Okay. So uh, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. And it's worth four, four points. Four points. All right. So. Yep, I do have that acronym. Just cool. So okay. up to there. Word control there. All right. So Maryland County control phase is done. Uh, and turn indication. So move on to the first real turn. Turn two. And Hooker is available to you now, Roger. As you point out, they'll come in at fatigue level zero. And the placement on those, uh, for those of you not familiar, is uh, because there's, you know, the map numbering is a little different when, because they're using the, the east numbers here. But basically, he can come in from, I think, 0310 all the way down to 0320 to Cracklin Town. Because Cracklin Rosie. So... Whenever Roger decides to bring him on, his, his the first core on, they will stack in one of those hexes together at fatigue level zero, and that's the whole activation. That's They're just done. Um, and we are, I think, ready to move on to round two, of course. Uh, we have a random event. I guess I'll, yep, I will roll it this time here. Okay. We have nine, which is a uh, slow parole. Slow parole. My 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 eyes went immediately to Union Command Paralysis Ray. <laughs> that's that's a different turn. All right. Let's see. So that probably means. I'm guessing after the surrender, it be held as hell. It's in the game. Destroy depots. Not remove destroy division. Must perform. Oh. 
be destroyed or damaged. Three fatigues? Oh. After this. So is this for the rest of the game? Yep. <laughs> That's awful. It Golly. is awful. Boo! Okay, we'll have to remember that, I guess. Yeah. That's I'll... bad. I got to <laughs> All three fatigues are expended in one turn. Okay. So you do it once, you burn everything, uh, send them home. The, <laughs> the scribe has difficulty sussing out the letters and the names. Yeah. What was your name again? How do you spell <laughs> it? Just make your mark. So, no Harper's Ferry then. Uh, still no Pennsylvania militia yet, because we are only on 11. Uh, reinforcements, of course. Phase. Leader transfers? Would you like to do any leader transfers secretly? Hmm. 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 Do I want to do leader transfers? We have eyes on Reno, sir. We have eyes on Reno. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do one. Make one small change. Okay. And I believe I will... Uh, do I wish to make one? You could say you are. Ah, uh, yes, that is true. <laughs> or you could say you're not doing anything. <laughs> um, I don't think my guys were allowed to build breastworks. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because the first... first uh, uh, leader transfers are done! <laughs> All right. Uh, I, do, that's, I do love this, the, the bluffing aspect of it. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, attachments. I actually have an attachment. <laughs> so I'm going to attach a unit to another unit. Uh, and that is going to be, uh, so that unit is uh, going away. And that was that attachment phase. So no supply, and it's on to the action cycle. So since I did the event, I'll let you roll the first initiative. Okay, here we go. Uh, Union left, Confederate right. And Confederate. All right. All right let's get this out of the way first. Let's... Activate Force 8, and they will attempt to destroy the CNO Canal. Hmm. So, um, it's a 1 or 2, basically, right? Uh, I get a I get a minus 1 because I have not moved. I get a minus 1 because you're not on the other side, but it's a plus 1 because it's a really big structure, so... It's a plus 2 if the active player is attempting to destroy the CNO Oh, wow. Canal. Okay, so plus 2, and then, uh, so minus 1... And minus one, so they offset basically. So I need a one or a two, and I only get one chance at it per turn. Yes, so, which we kept getting wrong last time. That's, that's okay. <laughs> I kept we wrong. we learn, and we all right. So on a one or a two, I have destroyed the canal bridge, aqueduct, and missed it by that much. Okay, uh, initiative. It's yours. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna take the first New York. I'm surprised you didn't try to kill him right away. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, two dice for him. He can go nine. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Safety in numbers. Unit. Yours again. I still blame Stuart's preening, but, you know. <laughs> All right. They had a preliminary ball. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. There's so much planning and detail. Um, all right. We're going to have Force 5 march. And here's their movement. Okay. So they'll go. Up and there. Okay. Initiative. Mine again. With force five, go again. Movement. All right. We do have an extended march. Okay. And they will go to New Windsor, not the old Windsor. Initiative. Mine again. They will. If I destroy the depot, it's worth two. Uh, but that would also be part of the burning. Uh, really, all it is 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 that. Yeah, so burning that would be worth two victory points. Yeah, 
I'm going to go ahead and destroy it. So they will go to another fatigue, and I will destroy that depot. Oh, that's worth two. Two points. Oops. Delete. There we go. Um, I could put that out there just to show that it was. And I will give myself two victory points. All right. Initiative. Mine again. Stuart will activate. <clears throat> and his march is nine. He'll go one, two, three to there. And spy on force four. Okay. Force four is da 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 Mansfield core. Okay. All right. Initiative. Mine again. I will have force nine march. There's the movement. One, two, three. Four, five. Uh, initiative. Yours. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Mansfield will activate Williams and Green. Here's their movement. One die plus one. They can go five. But Mansfield will stay with Williams. Green will go first. One. Two to there. He has three left. What would Stuart like to do? You have artillery covered. You've got a four to one ratio. And I've got tactical. I'll stand. Okay, so that's nine to two. So it's plus three, minus one for tactical. So plus two. He'll stop there. Mansfield will go one to there. He's got four movement points. Well, right. that is a horse of a different color. <laughs> so, yes, Stuart will be prudent. He will put a little saliva on his big feather and uh, get out of there. So they will that and flip. And uh, it is a plus zero on the roll. Oh! I hate this game. <laughs> All right. So we lose one. And that is uh, one manpower loss from the Army of Virginia. Which is, I believe, two victory points. Yes. Three, four. And Mansfield has four remaining. So the one, two, three... And he'll go four to there. And we will stay there. Okay. Initiative. Double sixes. That's yours. Oh, we'll have four, seven, march. Here's their movement. Go mm. one, two, three to there. Initiative. Yours. Activate Reno. Everybody in his group. Here's his movement. They can go a whopping two hexes. Uh, Reno will go with Wilcox. Wilcox will go first. He'll go one to there. Uh, what would F. Lee like to do? I have one movement point remaining. Yeah. Why not keep trying to roll a one? So we're going to... Give him a fatigue and flip, and we will bug out of there. Here's the uh, retreat roll. That's better. So he, he shuts him down. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Um, let's move Reno out of the way. The rest of that, these guys are just going to each just do a min move to there. And you can replace place that with a force marker if you wish. Uh, I could. 
Uh, I don't think so. So I guess I could do it if I want to. Yeah, I mean, it is your activation, so and even though you've already done something somewhere else, or technically. Yeah. Not now, I don't think. Okay, so knit. It's yours again. I will have force three activate. Here's their movement. They're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Initiative, yours. I'm going to activate some of the forces under the Force 2 marker. Here's the movement for them. The mark are being split up here. Think about how to do this. Stay legal, don't I? I have to split into three markers here for a second. Ooh. Okay, so the first marker is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Force four. Let me rearrange these. One, two, three, four, five to there. Oh, force two though. Well, let's see. You can't, you can't see force two because Mansfield's. That is correct. Between. Yes, that is blocking my my line. So in it, chores. Force one and force ten are both going to march. Here's their movement. That's good. Force 10 will go 1, 2, and 3. And this one will go 1, 2, and 3. Initiative, yours. Reno will activate the ninth core of his guys. T2. Here's their movement. Angle 5 hexes. Uh, Reno will leave with Wilcox again. It's one, two, three, four, five. Rod, I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Cox go one, two, three, four, five. Third just can just go one, two, three. He doesn't have enough to get into that next hex because it takes three movement points. Okay, initiative. Yours. We'll have F Lee March. Here's the movement. It's eleven. Hmm. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight to there, nine to there. Initiative. Mine again. Force six will march. They will also have force two added to the mix there. So here's the movement for four, four, four six. to there. Initiative, yours. Activate force two and four. Here's their movement. And go three hexes. Force two will go one, two, three to there. Force four will go one, two, and three, and I believe you now have exposure to him. So I think I have to show you him. Ba -ba -ba. I guess the question is, would you have had a glimpse at Force 2? I don't know. 
they obviously have a uh, I I'm just says, not, not a lot of people played this. <laughs> it's, uh, it says if an enemy cavalry unit is within two hexes of the marker. So to me, that means if you move through there and I've got a connection, then he becomes revealed. Okay, that sounds fair. We I can, buy. We that. can see the clouds of smoke in the woods and. Yes. Like I said, inferences could be made. Ooh. I accept that as a good ruling. Okay. Uh, Init? Yours again? Well, sir. Let us get the valuable Stuart out of possible harm's way. I see a flank coming here. Here's movement for both units. It's 10. Actually, do Seventh Virginia first. So they'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then Hampton extended march is okay. So also to the same spot. All right, initiative. Mine again. Hmm. I think four six is ready to move up here. So here's their movement. That. All right. Well, he's gonna go there. Uh, that is one. I will now reveal him. Ooh, well, Pete himself, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's old Pete. So that's one and two. And he's got DR Jones with him. They have a force of 12. What would the six US like to do? We got one left, one movement point. I do have one left. This would be a hasty attack. It's minus one. And then the numbers start going south pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> You've almost got breastworks. <laughs> I don't yeah, almost. Uh yeah, we'll we'll bug out of there. So he'll get pick up a fatigue, delete his entrenchments. And so this is a he's a one, which I think is very small. Uh no, just a small, so minus two. Minus two, okay. So let's see. Where can he go? You can, you have the option always to completely retreat him off map with no loss. I mean, he's just gone. Uh, but he can go to... Can he go down he go, there? Yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. three, four. I forgot to flip him. We'll go five, six to there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, uh, well, we'll... Let's see, you rolled a four, so it was a two. I lost that last one. So we are there. Initiative. It's mine again. Um, okay, we're going to activate Force 4. Here's their movement. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, force four will go again. Movement. Go one, two, three to there. Initiative. It's mine. I will activate force nine. Here's the movement. Okay. Mm. Uh, extended march. Okay. And so he will just go there. Initiative. All right. So that is mine. We'll gain a fatigue and he will destroy Weaverton Station. All right. So take a victory point. That was a Weaverton Station? That is a Weaverton Station, yeah. Okay. All right. Initiative. It's mine. 
Let me know when you'd like me to play. Sure. Hey, why don't you... Why don't you I'm t- taking a nap here. <laughs> why don't you take this one? I'm going to pass. <laughs> oh, are you really? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to pass. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to replace some of my units with force markers. I'm going to activate those guys I just replaced, which I did not have to actually do. I could have just replaced them and done something else. Uh, here's their movement. It's five. Force two is going to go one, two, three, four there. Force four is going to go one, two, three, four, five. Force six is going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. Mine, six one. I'm going to activate. Unit under force five. There's their movement. It goes six hexes. One, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. Yours. Force two will activate. And they will march. to there. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, four six will march. Here's their movement. And extended march. We'll go to there. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, four six will destroy the depot at Mount Airy. Destroy it's the Mount Airy destroy. Yeah, so plus two. So I'm destroying the station and the uh, depot along with it. I guess is the depot any, anything else? The depots were two. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's two also. So at the end, because you will not be able to. Uh, to rebuild it, I don't believe, because it's going to be destroyed, not damaged. So that's yep. four victory points total. Okay. All right, four victory points. That puts me at 13 positive. All right. And four six is there. Okay, initiative. It's yours. Okay, we're going to activate uh, the forces under force three. So I actually have to split these guys up a little bit. Two more force markers here. Here's their movement. Go whopping two hexes, two points, one, two. One. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Force three and eight. Two, one, two. I that's wrong. I'm doing that. That this guy needs to stay behind. He's not allowed to move. That I've been stupid. In fact, they're the same force. Doesn't mean they can. In it, yours. I will have force three march. Here's the movement. We'll go one, two, three, four, and five to there. Initiative. I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm going to activate force four and six. Here's their movement. And go three hexes. Uh, we'll move force four first. This is extended march. And he has to disorganize. 
or he has to react to the roll anyway. <laughs> oh, bother. And he could go three hexes. One, two, three to there. Uh, four sixes extended march. Oh, man. Another bother. Okay. It's taken care of. You can go three hexes. One, two, three to there. Initiative. Yours. We're going to force markers. I will continue to pass. Okay, I'll activate force seven. Here's his movement. Initiative. Mine. Uh, force three. And extend march needed. It's okay. Net. Yours. I will continue to pass. Uh, I'll take four seven. It's his movement. Go four hexes. Initiative. Double ones, yours. I will pass. Okay. I'll take force eight. This is movement. Knit. Come on, take him again. Oh. That size. Four, five, six to there. Hit. Mine again before I forget, which I almost did, Hooker. <laughs> and they can come in. Now you've got guys next to the railroad, so I assume I've got to come in south of there. All units want to the image. Oh, they made it adjacent, but not on. Okay. Is that what I want to do? And they cannot, that's it for them. They're well, actually, no. It says they are, the restriction is lifted if you continue. Uh, if I'm within seven hexes of them, so by you doing that, <laughs> you would be oh, lifting that restriction. Active. Yeah. Okay. Probably should have dropped them on there right away, and they kept you from getting there. Guess that's simulating them riding the rails. I would think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, initiative. Uh oh. Mine. Well, heck, Hooker. Do what Joe uh, does best. <laughs> What what is four six composed of? Oh know? well, yes, of course. <laughs> you, you've, you've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Yes, yeah, it is Longstreet and Dr. Jones with the twelve manpower. Well, let's give. You want to get scrappy? They, let's get let's scrappy. Give, let's give the people what they can. Well, let's see. You're already at fatigue four. I am. I would have to bring in everybody, just possible with a six. I'd have to get one or two or three. You're already fatigued out, though. I'm going to decide I'm not going to. I don't know if you would. I, I don't think that's a good attack at this stage, because I'm not going to fatigue you anymore. So I'm not going to make that attack. I'm just going to let him sit there. Okay. And strategically, continuing that train of thought, I've already destroyed the depot and the station, yeah. so I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's. I don't see at this point now, maybe it makes sense if I get the knit, you know, next turn, I get a first knit and I can make it then and get you fatigued out. But I don't, yeah, I should have been thinking about that and dropping Hooker on there right away, my first chance. And then I don't know if I had a chance. To get I was really worried right there for a second when uh, when I approached and then the 6 US ran away. I was like, oh, here it comes. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I, I kind of forgot all about him. Um, I mean, kind of. I did forget all about him. Uh, okay, I'm going to look at my force display because I just... <laughs> this is really different. Okay, I'm only down to two force markers. Left. Correct? Yeah. So, I guess... I'm going to activate the units in force one. 
There's their movement. Okay. Drop. Second to the last force nine marker goes there. Maybe one, two, three, four, five to there. He's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative. Yours. Getting cheeky. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is a good one. What do I do here? I'm going to pass for the moment. Okay. Force one. Force nine. I guess this is telegraphing who these guys are. Couch. <laughs> this is movement. Oh, that's the first number. I hit it twice. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Couch will go one, two, three, four, five. Five there. Initiative, mine. Okay, we'll take the eighth Illinois, Teague one. There's their movement. Go four hexes. One, two, three, four. They Initiative. did not eat their oats. No. Nah, they didn't get far enough. Double fives, that's yours. All right. Um, Stuart will activate. The seventh Virginia and uh, Munford. They will both march. Here's the movement. He will transfer to Munford and they will go one, two, and make a prepared attack on the eighth Illinois. So Plus one for that. Uh, ratio is the same. Plus three tactical. So I see a plus four. <laughs> All right, plus four. Here we go. Uh, Union left, Confederate right. What well, do you want to do? Attack defender? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I did it. So it's plus two. I got him. So plus two? Yep. So we're just both D, right? DR for me. And uh, DA for me. He's fatigued out. He flips. Flips. And then the seventh Virginia. Well, I'll wait for you to One, retreat. Two, two there. And I have to expose who Force Nine is. It's Mr. Smith. And Force One. And Force One. Oh, and Force One. Shocked and dismayed am I. <laughs> That's right. Get some force markers back. Where's Franklin? Where's Franklin? <laughs> All right. Uh, so we will stay there, and the Seventh Virginia will come join there. All right. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Well, Franklin will activate Couch to T two. Here's his movement. Oh, come on, couch, you lazy booger. Uh, Franklin will transfer to couch. They heard about Stuart. Stuart's up there. One, two. Okay, knit. Source. I'll have Stuart activate 12th Virginia. Here's their movement. It's 12. Um, I'll just have 12th Virginia come and join here. There we go. Initiative. It's mine again. Now I will have F. Lee activate himself. March. He gets that. Extended march. He's okay. He's going to go there. Initiative. Uh, it's mine. Force 10 will march. 
you know, how badly I, there's something I want to say, but I'm not going to say it. Cause Force 10 from Navarone? Oh, I've been thinking it the whole time. The whole time. I was waiting for either one of us to say it. Yeah. I wasn't going to. Wasn't going to go there. Let's <laughs> do it. Wouldn't be prudent, which 41 would say. All right. Here's their movement. All right. Uh, so they will go one, two, three to there. Initiative. It's mine. Mm -hmm. I will pass. But yes, we will go, go continue to do the uh, the the individual rolls for combat. I just I got ahead of myself and I just rolled it. So well, it, yeah, yeah. Used, I mean, we got used to doing it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sure, you, I, I know you've been playing some uh, tournament games. So. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's go back to. I like the individual roll for combat. It certainly gets my heart going when I have <laughs> me too. <laughs> after I see that six, oh, <laughs> or when I see that one, oh. Um. Hmm. 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 It's interesting. Look at my force display. It's so different to think about looking over there. I'm just going to take the force five marker off the bat and replace it with the first Rhode Island. It's not going to fool you. <laughs> not the first Rhode Island. <laughs> you can go seven hexes. T two. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. six Seven to there. Knit. Double ones. Yours. I will pass. Okay. Take the first New York. You can go seven X's. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. You knit. Presumed pass. Presumed correct. Okay. First Massachusetts. Two dice. He can go seven hexes. Wow. All these thoroughbreds. One, six, one, 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 six. <laughs> <laughs> they were bred in Vegas. I guess I'll send him to the same spot. Init. Mine. Okay, we'll take the first Massachusetts T2. Just movement. He can now go nine hexes. He's just going to go one, two, three, Four and five, and he's going to stop there. Secrets. So we'll find out what force three and seven are. Okay, so force three is hood, and force seven is McClaws. Okay, we have T1, no less. Okay. Uh, initiative. Yours. I will activate my claws. There's his movement. Two. You go there. What would the first mass like to do? So let's see. It's 13 to 1. <laughs> yes. Plus 12. Plus 3 is plus 15. But it's going to be a minus 2. So it's a plus 13 attack. Yes. <laughs> we are going to run <laughs> away. Run away, Sir Robin. Run away. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, disorganize. And here's the retreat roll. Da, da, da. It's a three. Doesn't dissolve. Da, da, so, right. it's a, okay. so it's going to go one, two, three, and four back to there. Okay. And he will, losing nothing, he will come right back. Okay. Right. You can hide him again. If I, you will, want. I will hide him again. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. All right. Initiative. It's my, it's my, uh, pass. Okay. Let me take a look. Um, Hooker could do something. Do I want, do I want to do that? I don't think I'm going to attack with Hooker. So, cause I don't see the value add at this point. So I'm going to pass as well. Uh, and that is an amazingly excellent time for us to, to wrap up today. So, uh, yeah, we will, we will finish turns one and two on our first session. This has been great. I love this so far. This is, uh, really got me. And, and like you were saying, I've got my force card off, just off to the right on my screen and I'm just sitting there constantly just reviewing it, going back, going, all right, who can move? What can I do? 
It's a wonderful logistic puzzle. Recovery phase. Let's do that first. Yeah, uh, this might be a challenge for me to remember how to do this. <laughs> well, if you just uh, if just basically yeah, go I'm, I'm going to get the ten. card. Yeah, go one through ten on the card and uh, yep. s- subtract three fatigues and flip them if they made it to fatigue level three. Or exhaust them, as it were, not not flip them. Yeah. So, uh, check, check, check. Did you hit recovery? Uh, I, oh, let me uh, actually physically hit recovery on the... Uh, not that it's going to do too much except for the units on the map. So, recover. Check. So, everything that's revealed out there is good. Uh, okay. So, that's good. Okay, units retract one. Okay. So, forage. No foraging. I think I did all that correctly. Perfecto. So, all right. Maryland County Control. I still have control of New Market, and I still have a lot of units in the county. Oh, yes. So another four victory points, right? Yeah. All right. So Control Frederick East will give me another four victory points. So I've got the victory points standing total right now. I have one manpower loss. You have none. And I have 17 positive points from burning railroad stations, depots, and county control so a decent start i would say um let's see anything else let's move on to turn indication phase right so we will move on to turn three september 12th that's where we'll pick it up next time and we can of course do our session review so i will let you take point on that if you have any comments for today it's been very different i think there's a certain element of bluff here that I I don't know if I've grasped yet. I probably am overusing. I don't know if I'm under overusing my force markers at this point. However much you're doing is exactly the right amount. I <laughs> I, I do love the uh, the element of chicanery in this game, and uh, yeah, it's great. Um, it's interesting. I think there's I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to try to do, but I realize as we've been playing today that this scenario is so different than what we did before. That I've got to have. I, I, I think my strategy is, is somewhat flawed. I may be having to push harder than I am. I think because you're in good shape. Um, maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, very fun. Very enjoyable so far. Um, but yeah, uh, that's my opinion. I don't know what do you think. I forgot to set a log file, but that's okay. Uh, I have saved it now at the end of turn two. So, unfortunately, that is lost. But hey, we've got the video evidence of it. So, if we ever need to review anything, I'll just go back to the tape. Um, Yes, I totally agree. Uh, I've only done this once years and years ago, early on. I'm like, I'm going to try this. And it was very fiddly, person to person, on the table. But here, having the force Mm. card off to the side, it's actually very manageable. So, if I'm making a recommendation to you, gentle viewers, uh, yeah, give this a try. The limited information, limited intelligence really does, Roger likes to always say it, puts you in the mindset of the command and control of this. This now puts you in the element of, hey, Stuart, your job, (laughs) should you choose to accept it, is to go out there and find out where Reno's Ninth Corps is. And that's that's fun. And especially when you reveal it, you're like, oh, I had not expected them to be there. I thought they were 10 miles away. And yet, there they are. And the fact that they can disappear again, and as we saw with, with elements of Longstreet showing up on the on the uh, on the vanguard out here to take Mount Erie and burn it. That gave Roger something to think about. So that's that's uh, that's what this is all about. Yeah, if there was an error there, it was me forgetting about Hooker. And I don't know. I'll have to watch the, and see. Maybe I never had the opportunity because you had nice strings of initiatives there. But I probably I think I did miss an opportunity to bring Hooker on and potentially force you to at least fight for Mount Erie. Uh, as opposed to just giving you, and those are that's a big chunk of points. There. That yeah, that was uh, yeah. I was really um, concerned that uh, when you were you were thinking out loud, and you're like, eh, should I, shouldn't I? And then you said, what would you do? And I'm like, I I'd go for the flank, you know. And but at the same time, you know, that requires setup. And going from here to here, you're going to flip a guy because there's no road. Yeah. And yeah. and 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 it's of limited 
value considering I, I I've already burned it. You know, I've already got yeah. the points. It's not coming back. So all you would be doing is literally throwing me into the briar patch. And I, I was sitting there going, no, no, don't attack Longstreet and make him retreat, please. You know? So uh, I was good either way with whatever your decision was. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, I thought about trying to move around, but it's like at this stage of the campaign, you know, if this was a two day scenario, yeah, absolutely, I'm going to go for it. But yeah, trying to move around Parsville or Ridgeville, or, or as you said, move north and then set up a flank that way. And then, you know, I was just thinking, okay, then I'm going to roll a six for attack. And exactly. then I get all mad. Exactly. <laughs> then exactly. I do it again. <laughs> it's game, man. The game. <laughs> I mean, just like that was that first attack with, uh, with uh, the first attempt by on the first day oh, with uh, Stuart. Yeah. Come on, come on, Stuart, just go attack. No, no, I've got planning to do. <laughs> yeah, um, we've got and a ball. The, you, and you mentioned using Stuart. You know, I, I have, I, I just, I'm still a little risk averse with these Cav. You know, oh yeah, because they, yeah. Uh, they can get eaten up so quickly. But you know, I did. Get up there and did a little I, bit of scouting. I love you did that with the first mass because it's like you, you got two birds with one stone and then, you know, he possibly could have melted away. But at the same time, you you forced me to burn a fatigue going, hey, get off my lawn, kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll we'll see how this plays out. But yeah, yeah. I think this is going to be, I hope people are enjoying this. I, I, I can't, I, it's going to be interesting to watch it from the view of, of, of what people are seeing, which is, you know, the observer without any idea what yeah. any one of us are trying to do. Exactly. So stay oh, tuned next cool. week. Yes. No, same exciting bet channel. And hey, and because I've so seldom do this, but uh, I'm actually going to put a product placement here. So I have to, t I have to check the box on YouTube for product placement. But if you've not yet gone out and this is, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a self-serving reason for this, but uh, I want to thank uh, Joe Balkowski and Chris Withers and Ed Beach and, and all the staff at Multiman Publishing, uh, not only for continuing the, the wonderful series as, as we are you know, now on pre-order for On to Richmond 2. Now, if you watch this years in the future, it's probably already out, but uh, they're continuing that development process. And we actually, for the first time in 20 years now, have a new skirmisher, skirmisher number three, mm, yeah. the official magazine of Great Campaigns. And Roger and I got a nice little little byline shout out credit there. So thank you very much for including yeah. us in that. That was very nice, very generous. Uh, we, yeah, we, we certainly do this out of love, but it, the accolade is nice as well. That that was nice and very un, unanticipated completely. And and for those of you who may not have perused Patrick's channel, uh, we have played on to Richmond with the new maps. That's right. So you, if if you have the old map or you've seen the old map, and go, oh boy, I don't want to get my foot in that uh, that pond. Take a look at the new maps. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous, just like this. And it was well. I enjoyed that series so much. It's probably the second favorite of the ones we've done. It's, it is very. Me. It is a very rich storyline and people laugh and joke about oh it's mcclellan just moving you know uh, one one mile an hour up and down the james and and that's fine yeah that is true there are elements of that and that is the tactical headache for the union player but it is so fun to say i'm gonna do it better no no you're really not because <laughs> it's just so many <laughs> logistical headaches but uh, it is great and it, it's a wonderful preview we did it earlier uh, gosh almost a year ago now but yeah yeah you get to see all the maps and thank you for sharing that early with us we really appreciated all that oh, so yes. yeah for for a product placement go out there and uh, they're very close on the pre-order number that they're trying to hit they passed they passed Passed it at this at this on this uh, a couple days ago they 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 went went by it it was so fast compared to uh, hood I was just so happy and and, and pleased because I hope this means they can get to it get it to the public that would be and, awesome if we could get it within you know uh, six to eight months but uh, yeah. if you if you've not pre ordered a copy you, you know do to take a look at it it's a great pre order price you get three modules plus the brand you know three modules one of which is a brand spanking new yeah. version of Petersburg from 1864 to 1865 so definitely take a look at it it is worth worthwhile and I'm seeing all the old original copies of on Richmond hitting the aftermarket and that price is steadily coming down so if you oh. want to if you want to get an original copy uh, just keep waiting. You'll you'll be able to get one as, as cheaply as some of the other ones, I would think. But um, Roger, this is fantastic. I'm I'm so excited, and it's it's worth getting over the <laughs> the COVID cough just to have this opportunity to play this. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm glad you suggested that we do we do this uh, hidden movement. It's great. 
So uh, now next yeah, week, get better, rest up, <laughs> thank you. Not talk too much. Lots you. of <laughs> lots of cough medicine and and honey. Yeah. Uh, but uh, next week, when the wheels come off of the Confederacy, uh, my attitude will be completely different. But for now, <laughs> it's going swimmingly. Uh, Roger, have a great week, everyone, and take a moment to, for all of you out there that are new to the channel. If you've enjoyed this, click the like button, click that subscribe, so you'll see it when it pops up every week. And uh, the notification bell will also tell you when I drop these things. But I'm also showing you our current uh, monetary subscribers. Thank you very much. You don't It's not expected, but we certainly appreciate it. And uh, at some point, I'm going to spec out a new bit of uh, updated equipment for this, either a new, new microphone or a new computer. Uh, uh, we'll see. But uh, thank you, everybody, for your continued support. And if you see this out on social media, do feel free to retweet or like it and repost it. That's always good, too. Uh, Roger, until next week, sir. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.